What's up, folks? It's your man, Jay. So I'm just kicking back, just kind of enjoying some time before I get away. I want to give you a quick video on this new render, and I'm already laughing. Um, I mean, I really feel bad for the people that actually follow every marketing campaign. I think it's kind of incredible that Apple, along with several other people, uh, other companies can release the same phone over and over again and get people to buy it like it's brand new. We all fall victim to this. The only reason I fall victim to it, you know, just so I can defend myself, is that I do tech reviews. So I'm probably going to buy whatever just to review it, at least get it out of my system. You know what I'm saying? So this iPhone 9, mm, I really want to be like, don't you mean iPhone 8 or don't you mean iPhone 7, 6S, 6? Pretty much the same design, folks, and I often wonder if consumers buy into all this hype that Apple pushes out. Like, this is incredible that they're able to sit, and it's no shade, you know, I purchased every iPhone just about, uh, I think I purchased every iPhone, but the thing is, this phone, this so-called iPhone 9, looks exactly just like the iPhone 8, like literally, the glass back, I mean, this is just rumor, treat this as a rumor mill. But they did a front and back different, uh, you know, still had Touch ID, supposedly. Now, I don't know if this is in fact true, but these rumors that pop up nowadays are pretty much on point for release of device, releases of devices. So, $399 for a 64 gig, uh, and it's supposed to have a, it's supposed to have a 13 Bionic chip inside. Uh, so, I mean, that probably is the only positive I could find for this. And it's got Touch ID. Uh, so, and I'm talking to people who have an iPhone 8 on down, 8 plus on down, I don't think you need to run out and buy this phone. Um, if you don't have, if you have like an iPhone 6 or f on down, then you definitely probably should consider this. But think about how people who have the 10R or the 11 feel if this is gutted the same, but just looks different and it's more compact. Touch ID to me is, is always great. I love Touch ID. But I'm surprised at how Apple is able to do the same thing over and over and over. Now, the best part about being an Apple user is that you could have your phone for three or four years, sell it, and get probably 60 to 80% of the cost as long as it's in pristine condition. Um, you won't be able to sell it back to Apple. And that's the thing about Apple. Isn't there, aren't they something, man? They'll sell you a phone and offer you pennies on the dollar for the trade-in, but other companies will take the phone and give you a full trade-in, like get some real dough towards it. Or you can sell it private party and get all your money back, just about. Isn't that something? I, are y'all paying attention to what Apple does, man? It's kind of crazy that they, they'll they sell you a phone and they won't even give you half of it back on a trade-in a year later. That's something else, man. I guess they that's why they have all the money they have, because they just get over on customers like that. So, I mean, to, 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 to a customer's defense, though, you know, I guess it's okay if you keep your phone and you don't trade in a lot you actually get your money's worth. So if you're going to buy the iPhone 9, if in fact this is the iPhone 9, you're doing all right. You keep this for another six, seven years like you did your first iPhone. You know what I mean? But to everybody else, we're sitting back looking like, man, they suckering the heck out of people, man. They're getting people. They're straight up just getting people and they don't even care. Now, I thought I saw some rumors. And again, treat this whole video as like a rumor. I thought... That when I saw these rumors about the iPhone SE and everything, I thought it was going to be the full screen. It was going to give some design. Nope. At least not right now. Uh, as of January 2020, nope. That design, I don't know where it's at. But I think that Apple will release this device just because they know they can sell it to someone. 400 bucks because it has the 13, A13 chip in it. You know, three gigs of RAM. In the RAM for iPhones, I really don't care too much about it because their software is optimized perfectly. I mean, let's just be clear here. iPhones do last longer than most Android phones. And the value is almost as good as it was when you bought it. Um, as long as you can keep it pristine condition with an out of box. Shout out to Technical T. You can keep it pristine with an out of box. Um, you got a brand new phone pretty much for the life of it. You know what I'm saying? Like keep it protected. If not with an out-of-box, keep it with a tempered glass. Keep it protected, and you're going to be good to go. But um, I find it strange that, you know, Apple is recycling everything all over again and naming it something else and then selling it to consumers again. I'm ready for Apple consumers to stand up and be like, yo, 
Stop selling me the same phone. I'm going to stop buying your products. Really innovate this time. There was rumors that Apple going to release a foldable phone and all this other nonsense. Apple's too scared to do this. They don't want to take any risk. Look at the history of the iPhone, folks. If Apple releases a foldable iPhone, I will buy it no matter what it costs in 2020. I'll buy it. No matter what the price is, I'll buy it. Hold me to that. Apple is too afraid to take some real risks when it comes to the consumers because consumers keep buying the same thing that they keep releasing. You know what I mean? So why change it? If it's working and you're making billions and billions of dollars, why switch? You know what I mean? So if you're a hardcore Apple, Apple fan, if you're a hardcore bang em up Apple fan, are you not upset at this point in the game? I mean, don't you feel a little played by them just continuously releasing the same phones over and over in different shells or the same shell with a different name? Come on. Somebody speak up in the comments, man. Apple fans, I want to hear from you because I already know Android phone fans are getting ready to light y'all up in the comments. So, I mean, Apple fans, where you at, man? Aren't you ready for something new? Let me hear from you, man. It's your man Jay. Let's talk about it.